think it's 21. Okay, today we're going to talk about and work with um, solving systems. Algebraically. Solving systems algebraically. And what that means is finding the point where two lines intersect. We're going to find the point where two lines intersect and we're going to do it algebraically or mathematically. Okay. So there's a couple of different techniques that you can use. And today we are going to solve by what's called substitution. So solving by substitution. All right, and the question you may get would be something like, what is the solution of the system of equations? And you'll be given a system. And we got 3x plus 4y equals 12. And 2x plus y equals 10. Now, kind of a little bit of a review from yesterday, those both of those equations on the wall are in standard form. So you could graph those and you could see where the two lines intersect. But sometimes, or a, a fair amount of times, the lines will intersect at a point that doesn't have whole number coordinates. And when that's the case, you can't really determine the exact x, y value where the line intersects. So you have to be able to solve a system algebraically. So this first method, which is called substitution, what it means to do is to pick one of the equations, solve for a variable, and then take the solution to that variable and substitute it into the other equation. Okay. So when you're solving these systems from now for the next good amount of time, you're going to need to use a lot of foresight, meaning you're going to have to think two and three and four steps down the road before you choose your first step, okay? So what we're doing right now is we're looking at these two equations and we're trying to determine which equation is easiest to solve for one variable, all right? And if you look at this second equation, the two X plus Y equals 10, if you subtracted two X from each side, wouldn't you know what Y equals? So that's the equation that you pick to solve for first. So over here, I'm going to take 2x plus y equals 10. I'm going to subtract 2x from each side. I'm going to get y equals 10 minus 2x. So now I know what y equals. It equals 10 minus 2x. 
So now I take this y that equals 10 minus 2x and I substitute it into this top equation. So we're going to rewrite the top equation. I'm going to rewrite it as 3x plus 4 times whatever y is equal to. So we got a y right here, but we got y that's equal to 10 minus 2x. So in parentheses, we take 10 minus 2x. We keep it equal to 12. Now we have an equation with only one variable. When you have an equation with just one variable, you can solve for it. So we're going to do the distributive property. We get 3x plus 40 minus 8x equals 12. All right, that was the 4 times 10, 4 times the negative 2x. Combine like terms. So 3x minus 8x, that's negative 5x plus 40 plus 40. equals 12, can subtract 40. Why am I going to get such an ugly number? Oh, well. We're going to get negative 5x equals, what's that? 12 minus 40, negative 28. 28. 38 would be 40 minus 2. Divide by negative 5. And we're going to get an x value that's equal to 28 divided by 5, 5.6. So as I said earlier, if you had this line, these two lines that inter in intersect at an x value of 5.6, that'd be real hard to see on the graph. So look. There's our x at their point of intersection. Now we take what x equals and we substitute it into either equation. And we solve for y. All right? So you can either substitute it right here or you can substitute it here. Whichever place you want. I'm going to say right here that y equals 10 minus 2 times 5.6. So our y value is equal to 10 minus 11.2. And our y value is equal to negative 1.2. So here's how you write the solution to this system. It's a point. It's located at 5.6 and negative 1.2 on the coordinate plane. This x and y value, if substituted into both equations, would make them both true. Because it is the point where the two lines, this line right here, and this line, it's the point where those two lines intersect on the coordinate plane. Everybody all right with that? So much fun. You want to do it again? That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking exactly. All right, so everybody caught up? You done writing that one down? Let's try one more. And then I'm going to give you something to practice. So let's, same directions. We're going to solve the system again. We got an x plus 3y equals 5. We got a negative 2x minus 4y equal to negative 5.
All right, so I'm sitting, I'm seeing this X sitting here by itself. So I'm gonna take this X plus three Y equals five and subtract three Y from each side. And I'm gonna get an X that's equal to five minus three Y. Since that X is equal to five minus three Y, I'm gonna to go to the other equation. You have to go to the other equation when you substitute. And I'm gonna rewrite it, negative two times five minus three Y minus four Y equals negative five. Distribute. Uh, we would get negative 10 plus 6y minus 4y equals negative 5. Combine like terms. So our negative 10 plus 2y equals negative 5. Add 10 to each side. So 2y is going to equal 5 and then divide by 2. So we get y equal to 2.5. Simplest place to use that would be right here. So our x is equal to 5 minus 3 times 2.5. So our x equals 5 minus 7.5. So our x equals negative 2.5. And then we write that solution as a ordered pair. So negative 2.5 and 2.5. That's the point where the two lines intersect each other. All right, so I'm gonna give you some practice today now. Your practice is going to be on page 146. And we're going to do problem. Thirteen through eighteen. And if you give me a minute here to scan that document, I'll get it up on the wall for you. <laughs> 